For troubleshooting and repair work on the fuel-injected MXV engine, it helps to understand a little bit about how the engine management system and self-diagnostic systems operate. The engine control unit, the ECU, is a very complex assembly of integrated circuits, transistors, and microprocessors, all sealed in a waterproof housing. While it's not possible to directly test the ECU, this video will explain how some of the sensor circuits in the ECU function and outline the FI self-diagnostic system. This will give you good insight for troubleshooting, especially for running performance problems when there is no error code. The ECU has total control on the following functions, fuel injection system, high pressure fuel pump, closed loop operation and O2 sensor heater control, self-diagnostic system and communications with the FI diagnostic tool, operation of the malfunction indicator lamp, control of the ignition system, and safety control circuits for engine shutoff if equipped. The basic ECU construction includes the computer processor, temporary and permanent memory, input circuits for the FI sensors, and control circuits for the fuel pump, fuel injectors, and ignition coils. One of the most important tasks for the ECU is to provide the 5 volt DC operating voltage for the throttle position sensor and the manifold absolute pressure sensor. I want to be sure you caught that. The TPS and MAP sensors operate on 5 volts DC, not 12 volts. This might be new to you if you have limited experience working on EFI engines. The fuel injectors, ignition coils, high pressure fuel pump, electric starter, the malfunction indicator lamp, and oil pressure warning lights all operate on 12 volts DC. The electric heater for the O2 sensor is also 12 volts, not the O2 sensor itself. The heater circuit is completely separate from the O2 sensor circuit. This 5 volt DC is commonly referred to as the reference voltage because the ECU compares the signal voltage on the TPS and the MAP sensor to this 5 volts DC to determine the throttle setting and intake air pressure. The intake air temperature and engine temperature sensors also operate on 5 volts DC, but this voltage is supplied inside the ECU on a series circuit with a fixed resistor. The circuit looks like this inside the ECU. If you disconnect the engine temperature or intake air temperature sensors, you'll read the 5 volts DC, but you should never check for supply voltage when a component is disconnected or the circuit is open. You cannot determine if there's unwanted resistance in the wire when no current is flowing. We'll cover troubleshooting the TPS, MAP, intake air temperature, and engine temperature sensors in separate videos. The ECU contains the self-diagnostic function, which continually checks the operation of the FI system and will set an error code if it detects a failure or abnormal signal, or if the ECU must make very large or small adjustments to maintain the target air fuel ratio. It's very important to understand what the self-diagnostic system can do, but equally important to understand what it cannot do. It does not check the condition of the 5 volt DC parallel circuit to the FI sensors, the condition of the parallel ground circuit for the FI components, the ignition coil secondary voltage, spark plug condition, such as a fouled plug or if there's a spark at all, it doesn't check fuel pressure, cylinder compression, cylinder leak down percentage, valve clearance, camshaft timing, engine vacuum or cylinder balance, air filter condition or intake track problems, or the exhaust system condition. Now, if the engine is running very lean or rich and the ECU is having to inject more or less fuel than is listed in the FI map to maintain the target air fuel ratio, it might set one of the error codes related to closed loop operation, P0171 FI adjustment too great, which means the air fuel ratio is too lean, 172 FI adjustment too little, which means the air fuel ratio is too rich, and 174 the power enrichment air fuel ratio is too lean. If you see one of these codes, it's important to remember the ECU cannot tell you why it had to set that code. It's up to you, the mechanic, to use your skills and training to remember to not only test the condition and operation of the FI system, but also check the ignition system and the mechanical condition of the engine, intake, and exhaust systems to determine why the engine is too rich or too lean. Let's look at how the ECU determines error code P0117 and 118, which are error codes for the engine temperature sensor circuit. P0117 is for low voltage. Inside the ECU, the engine temperature sensor is connected to a 5 volt DC circuit with a fixed resistor. The temperature sensor itself is a variable resistor, changing its resistance with the temperature. The hotter the engine gets, the lower the resistance of the engine temperature sensor. So now we have two loads in series. The voltage must go through the fixed resistor to get to the engine temperature sensor. The ECU measures the voltage at this point between the two resistors and applies the divided voltage law, which says the available voltage in a series circuit is divided between all the loads in a circuit based on the resistance of each load. 
if the fixed resistor is 2,000 ohms and the variable resistor in the temperature sensor was also 2,000 ohms, the 5 volts would be divided equally and the ECU would measure 2.5 volts at this point. 2.5 volts was used to push the current through the first 2,000 ohms and 2.5 volts to push through the remaining 2,000 ohms. You might be saying, hey, that's a voltage drop test. You're right. The ECU looks at the FI mapping tables and says a 2.5 volt drop equals about 150 degrees. When the engine temperature increases, the resistance of the temperature sensor will decrease. Let's say it's now 1,000 ohms. The voltage drop would now be 1.67 volts, which works out to be 3.3 volts to push the current through the fixed 2,000 ohms and 1.67 volts to push through the 1,000 ohms. 3.33 plus 1.67 equals 5 volts. The table would indicate that a 1.67 volt drop means the engine temperature is now about 184 degrees. So back to the error codes. The self-diagnostic system in the ECU is also monitoring the voltage drop between the resistors and is programmed to trigger error code P0117 if the voltage drop on the circuit is less than 0.5 volts and trigger 118 if the voltage goes above 4.8 volts. This same procedure applies to many FI circuits. The normal working range of the voltage should be between 0.5 and 4.8 volts. Below 0.5 or above 4.8, then an error code will be triggered. Because it's so important and it's not mentioned in the service manual, I'm going to say it one more time. Verifying this 5 volt reference voltage is a critical troubleshooting step. Another important fact to keep in mind is the self-diagnostic system is great at finding open or shorted wires or circuits. But if the ECU is getting a voltage reading anywhere in the normal range of operation, it believes that reading and uses it for FI calculations, possibly resulting in poor engine performance and may or may not set an error code. So FI troubleshooting is not only reading the error codes and fixing or replacing damaged wires or components, but also determining if a particular sensor is providing the correct information to the ECU for the conditions or locations. Other videos in this fuel injection series will give you in-depth troubleshooting and diagnostic info on each FI sensor and circuit. Be sure to watch all of them and pull them up on your smartphone whenever needed. Thanks for watching.